Welcome to Repeat Offenders. We're at the Baltic Sea again. Surprise, surprise. It's the beginning of October. It's way too warm for this time of year. Our water temperature is 17 degrees. And we had a hard time today just finding fish and getting through the small ones. And well, here's the first bigger one for me today. It's, it's almost time to stop. And the first fish above 80 centimeters, probably around four kilos. Well pleased with that, real hard fishing today. Okay, let's head it back. Awesome. And another surprise. I don't know, there's not a whole lot of water in the Baltic Sea uh, this, this fall. And we really have, we really have trouble finding baits that work in shallow water. And caught it on this little wart. Subsurface bait only goes maybe two or three inches deep. Really have to crank it hard. And it just nailed it. Really, really nice take. Well, see if we can get another one. And I'm pretty sure I know what to start with tomorrow. some work yesterday to some scouting ahead to make the most of our time today. Um, the weather is actually kind of pikey today. Uh, we got about uh, four before. Um, so the water's gotten down a little bit in temperature. It's about 13 and a half degrees. And what we found yesterday is that the pike are still holding very, very close to structure. They're not in the deep water. Uh, they're not. Um, they're not anywhere near where the drop-offs are in the deep end. They're in uh, four foot or less. And the problem with that is where it's four foot or less, a lot of sunlight is still penetrating. We've got lots of seaweed, lots of seagrass. It's really hard to kind of tickle them out of there. And we also found yesterday that all the big baits that we usually bring in October, November, you know, when the winter comes, they're, they're being completely ignored. And one of the few fish that we managed to catch yesterday just regurgitated lots of small, you know, bait fish, about, you know, maybe three inches long. That's 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 about the forage that they're really concentrating on now. I used to pull a couple of real big jerk baits along today, uh, yesterday as well, and you could just see all the small fry exploding on the surface trying to get away from the jerk bait. And so what we found yesterday is that imitating their, you know still predominant forage, very very small uh, bait fish, is the ticket for the fishing trip this time. And of course I didn't bring any, um, always prepared, you know me. Um, what I used yesterday were those uh, lunkers in 6 inch and they did manage to uh, produce a couple of bites. I got them rigged with a 7 gram head, a 15 gram head. 15 gram actually makes the whole thing look and work better. Um, but with four uh, inches, uh, four feet of water and seaweed up to maybe two and a half, three feet, um, usually the uh, seven gram head was the ticket. And what I then did was to kind of shorten them, you know, just an inch or so, to get closer to this, uh, to the uh, size that the pike were interested in. That seemed to bring in a lot of fish. Okay, gonna get the GoPro going. Gonna get a rod out. See what we can catch. Oh, one right there. Oh, and he's got it. He's got it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this one in. Saw so him. Hit and miss on the surface just when the bait was hitting the surface, and then just followed it all the way back to the boat. 
50 to 60 meters and just doing little erratic movements just on the boat just like a good musky fisherman would and there we go first fish of the day second cast not sure if I'm gonna bring him in it's just sitting right there on the treble and he's in the net awesome awesome yes 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 awesome <laughs> I'm not sure if it's uh, gonna be visible on the GoPro but you could just see the swirl just where my my little rubber shed hit the surface you could see a swirl you knew I knew there was a fish right there and he followed it all the way to the boat and to be honest it's a pretty nice fish Let's see if I can get it out of the net here we go that's probably I don't know an 85 or 86 maybe very nice fish probably around three to four kilos really really nice fight and you can see the usual suspects are catching again that's the little Bauschi Bauschi the little perch that I like so much and oh, like I said be prepared got every, have everything ready to go you cannot tell somebody else oh could you grab the forceps for me Let's see if we can operate here right quick good well second cast of the day first fish in the boat all the pre-work yesterday is paying off very very nice fish and they're still very active it's almost like summer fishing there they like fast agile baits you really have to rip them through no you know smooching around the bottom Mwah. there we go <laughs> awesome Let's get another one. Oh, and there he is, right into the spin stop. And we do play for keeps, but this one probably isn't a keeper. <laughs> That's child molestation. Okay, that probably isn't a keeper. Second fish of the day. Um, yeah, that's child abuse. I'm gonna put him right back. Grow up. But it's a nice appetite too. Aren't these pike nice? They take your boring conventional shads and they make nice little no action shads out of them without any extra cost. Very, very nice. The new spot is around 50 centimeters deep uh, and that's about a foot and a couple of inches. Um, even with a 10 gram head, I don't seem to have a whole lot of chance to get away from the seaweed. So until I've drifted a little further out, One size fits all. Now he 
see me. And once again, just the trouble book. Hmm, nothing. I'm still pretty sure that I'm in the right spot. So I'll just change the lures, see if that makes any difference. I guess it does. Solid take. I don't think the fish is anything to worry about with this kind of tackle. Well, feels like a one size fits all standard Baltic Sea Pike. Not the big mama that we're always after. But lots of fun still. Oh yeah. Well, found a good spot. This fish gives me hope that there's another one out there with my name on it. And another 10 inches on top of this might be, I don't know. Maybe, maybe 70, but still lots of fun. Not sure if you've noticed, but the fish hit this one. This is actually the unshortened longer city, six inch. So I guess they're working up an added appetite. They're hitting pike-sized baits again, uh, very natural color. And I'm just thinking, you know, if they really like this, what about that one? Um, because, you know, they're after herring in a short while. Let's just change them. See if we can get another one in the same spot. Well, let's give it a try. The water is almost greenish, so I think the other one fits in better. This one is probably better later in winter when the water is more clear. But you never know. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 
was that? Third cast, fourth cast. A very nice take. Oh, he's gonna jump. Still on. Same size though. Nothing big for me today. Well, the herring aren't here yet. But the pike sure don't seem to mind a little pre-taste. Here he comes. Nice tail walker. Hey little fella. How you doing? Hungry? Oh yeah, you wanted that, huh? Oh, I'm gonna grab that one. Like that. My shed is completely gone. And let's take it. It'd be easy. Just get in there. Nice. Ah. Whoa. Did you see that? Travel hook almost in my face. Nice fight, boy. Thank you. Oh, there he is. Obviously, you see the rod to shake, 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 shake. And then after another five feet, maybe, he nailed it. Standard size, maybe a kilo or two. Just, you know, it's a pike. I'm playing on actually hit a glow in the dark bait. That lure has got a black back, and the rest is just straight fluo. Um, obviously, it's still light. And I figured, hey, it kind of looks like a herring, too. Let's give it a try. Get in the net. Here we go. I think I'm gonna make this the last fish of the day. I'm gonna head on home. Well, I sure had a blast. Thanks for watching. This is pike fishing on the Bodden, the Baltic Sea, the part with the brackish water on the coast of Germany. Lots of pike. If you haven't experienced it, come on by and have a go at it. Thanks for watching, repeat offenders. Thanks, bye.